I got my start in music professionally when I was 16. I actually left home to join a band in the north of England playing funk. I've been doing music professionally my whole life and I learned to record out of necessity. After a while and having a certain amount of success, I started getting asked to be an engineer for more established producers. And that was a huge deal for me. I ended up working with Jack Douglas and working with Aerosmith. I started on four track cassettes, moving into ADATs and then eventually into the earliest DAWs. Despite the fact I'm sitting in front of some relatively expensive equipment, 90% of my life is spent on speakers that are about $300 and interfaces that are about $300. Like Presonus, I believe very strongly in the democratization of the music industry. It has been one of the most important things for us because now we're able to access incredibly inexpensive, great sounding equipment. A good pair of monitors, of course, is paramount. The Eris Studio Series. These are impressive. So for me, I want two things. I want detail in the mid-range so I can get in there and mix everything, but I also want an additional extended low end that you can now get in smaller speakers. Bravo to PreSonus for producing a pair of speakers that's really gonna kick down some doors, but you have to make sure your room allows you to hear what the monitors are doing. So this beautiful Jay Kaufman design room is completely floating. Floating floor, floating ceiling, floating walls. It is unbelievably flat. That makes it a joy to work in, and I can trust everything that we record and mix here. I've had so many studios over the years that I needed something that delivered on all levels. Something that had a great lounge area, a great live room, but also incredible sounding control rooms. So I started the YouTube channel purely and simply to connect people. Between the beginners and the incredibly successful. There's a massive, massive gap there. So I came in to make it all make sense. I realized I had no advantages when I started. I never went to school for this. And that is what most people are facing these days. I wanted to illustrate how you could do it by just working hard at your craft. I quickly realized, as Quincy Jones said, there's only three things that are important in music, the song, the song, and the song. And of course, getting a great performance is paramount. I'm at my happiest when I'm working with an artist that I can co-write with, produce, play instruments, engineer, mix. For me, that is my sweet spot.